I woke up today like not tired because I slept pretty good last night. But I'm just like not in the mood to cook breakfast. I usually have maybe like a smoothie or oats. Like an oatmeal or fruit. Honestly, I don't get enough time in the morning to like cook like a heavy breakfast. But today I was like, you know what? It's almost right here. Let's get some Starbucks. You remember this? You remember when you were in my belly? And you made me crave this so much every single day? <laughs> yeah, you remember? She's so serious. We got some bacon egg bites. We got some oatmeal. And then we got paradise drink. We're starting to get a little tired, right? She's starting to get a little tired because she's gonna go down for her first nap soon, right? There you go, my love. <laughs> yeah, you wanna take that first nap? Uh huh. <laughs> I have so much to do today, like work wise. <sighs> and Adriana's going through like this like phase, apparently. I didn't know this. I know four months regression is a thing. That I know. But I didn't know that around like three months to four months, like these babies go through like a phase where they get distracted easily, like when they're nursing and stuff. And it makes them so freaking fussy. Like Adriana is not a fussy baby at all. She is a super calm baby. She is literally, she's literally a sweetheart. But this week, this week has made me feel like I'm in the newborn phase like all over again she's been so fussy like she cries and like she doesn't want to nurse and when she's nursing like she'll get distracted i was going insane i was like is something wrong with her like is she sick she's not sick like is it an ear infection like what the fuck is going on until i found out that babies go through this phase it goes away but i'm not sure when every baby's different but imagine trying to get work done when your baby doesn't want to nap when your baby is freaking crying, when your baby doesn't want to play. Uh, I feel like I'm going mad this week. Like, this week has been a lot. Um, but yeah, I have so much work to get done today. So that's why I was like, you know what? Like, I have a long day today. Let's get freaking Starbucks. Because I need at least something good to fuel me up today. Oh, my little girl. Do you see yourself? you see yourself in the camera? <laughs> mm -hmm. I love you. I love you, princesa. This is literally the best thing ever. It literally hooks her. She is so calm when she has it. I move it around so you can like move it all over the crib. So if I want to do tummy time, like I'll put it at the end. Most of the time it's over here, so she's like laying down facing this way but this keeps her entertained for like a good 10 15 minutes so if i ever have to do something around the house i'll put her here and she's literally like so entertained you like your aquarium you like your aquarium <laughs> i love you we are finally gonna like give adriana like her own room so like her room is this room right but we had like the guest bed here which takes up like a lot of fucking space in the room and she's finally getting to that age that she's gonna start playing around you know she needs like her own like play den and stuff um which we were actually gifted like the play den like during the baby shower so we are finally gonna put this bed in the storage um and we're gonna make this like fully her room so we're gonna like move things around we're gonna move her crib around and then we're gonna add like the play den and like her little play area which i'm so excited about because like since for like for now she either plays like on a mat on the floor or like on the bed like you can literally see her play mat like on the back but now i'm just so excited that she's gonna have like literally like an area for her to like just lay around play roll and like her toys are gonna be there like i am so freaking excited because right now like i just have to like store her toys like in the cabinets like in her closet but now i can actually like store them 
like in her play area i can't wait she is starting to get like a little fussy Aww. and that's because she's already getting ready for her nap i already know that once i see her getting like ah, it's because she's starting to get tired so we usually do like a little bit of playing <clears throat> just so that she uses most of her energy and then she'll knock out sometimes for like an hour and a half to two hours so this is when i get the most done at work right my love <laughs> Do you want to show them how you sit up? Are you ready to show how you sit up? Come on. Ah, good job. Good job, mama. Good job. You're so strong. Who's this strong girl? She freaking loves these. This is one of the best purchases ever. Like, if you have a three-month-old and up, Get these freaking fidget spinners from Amazon because they are lifesavers. We literally used these when we went to Bolivia like two weeks ago. And although she slept most of the plane right there, which by the way was like freaking seven hours like that. And it was a direct flight. So imagine being in a flight seven hours straight with a baby. She slept most of it like literally like if she was awake, it was probably for like an hour. But while we were waiting to take off or like right when we were landing and she was awake, these fidget spinners literally saved saved her life it keeps her so entertained she literally loves them especially now that she knows how to spin them like that's all she wants to do so i definitely recommend these you can like stick them anywhere she literally has another one that's like on her mirror so when we do tummy time like i'll spin this and like she'll just watch and like she'll want to spin it so best purchase i totally recommend Grab a key. Good job. Honey girl just woke up. She slept like a good like hour and a half. So that's something because like I said, she is going through like this grumpy face, whatever. So I'll take what I can get. Um, I was able to get like my work done, like most of it done. So we are good. Like I feel so freaking relieved because I was like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. But I was able to get it done, you know. I went ahead, opened all the doors because I have my shark robot just kind of like vacuuming throughout the house honestly you guys this this is such a good purchase like i recommend this to like anybody because you know what like with motherhood like you just don't have a lot of time like i'm already like squeezing everything out of me to try to get as much done around the house and vacuuming and stuff is just not one of those stuff so this is amazing because it like i can just turn it on every day it will literally vacuum everything
specifically so I could just have my hair down without Adriana like grabbing it um and then postpartum hair loss happened and now my hair literally falls freaking everywhere so I have to literally like have it up all the time because I will literally find hairs like on my shirts on Adriana's fingers and I'm not trying to get those like I don't even know how to say the name but it's like when babies get like hair like trapped like in their fingers and like it cuts their blood circulation I'm like terrified of that so like I check your feet and like your hands all the time because my freaking hair is just falling like everywhere like I'm literally losing the remaining hair that I have it's so stressful I'm like super comfortable in this shirt that I'm wearing so I don't think I'm gonna change my shirt but I am gonna change my pants and I'm gonna you know wear these like gym short pants I don't even go to the gym but they're like super comfortable Ugh. Just so that I don't feel like a bum. I feel like every time that I stay in PJs, I feel like such a freaking bum. Like, I don't know. I just have to change. But this shirt's like super comfortable. It's actually Kevin's, but now it's mine. So I love it. And I'm gonna go ahead and freaking change my breast pads too. Perks of breastfeeding. These are my favorite ones, honestly. I had when I was like buying like everything for like my postpartum and stuff, I bought these Dr. Brown ones, which obviously these are not reusable, like these like use it once, throw it out. Um, and I also bought reusable ones, but I personally do not like the reusable ones at all. I love, love, love these Dr. Brown ones. I feel like these are the best. They work so well. I don't have any problems with it. The thing with the reusable ones is they kind of got stuck to my nipples every single time, obviously because of the milk residue or like Adriana saliva on my nipple, it just will get stuck. So every time I unclip my bra, it would just basically hurt because you have like this breast pad stuck on you. So you have to like, I don't know. These don't give me any problems. I feel like these are freaking amazing. So I would recommend that to any breastfeeding mom. Here we have the fit. This is like my outfit most of the time. I'm not kidding. I praise moms that have the time to get ready and like change every day no you're gonna see me in a t-shirt every single day unless like we go out you'll see me in a nicer t-shirt hey girl tummy time she's like where is that sound coming from So literally, this is this is what's been going on this whole week, right? She'll feed, she gets distracted, she doesn't want to feed anymore. So I'm like, whatever, I'm not gonna force you to eat. Once we get to playtime, she gets this freaking fussy. And it's like this the whole freaking day. And then I try to feed her again, and it's the same thing, it's the same cycle. She eats, she gets distracted, and she's just so fussy. She's so fussy the whole day. Mm -hmm. If you guys have any like four months olds that are going through the same thing, please <laughs> let me know. How long did this phase last? Because it's driving me insane. Like, I literally feel like I'm in the freaking newborn stage all over again. All over again. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. I don't like when you're fussy. I know, why are you so fussy? That's why you have to eat, my love. You have to eat when we're nursing. You can't be getting distracted. Because then you get fussy like this. But I still love you. I still love you. I love you so much. I feel like she knows I love you. Like, she might not know the meaning. She might not know the feeling. But I feel like she knows that it's something good. Because every time I say I love you, like, she gets, like, all giggly, like, all happy. I love you. I love you. 
I love you. Well, you know, every time I put the camera, she gets distracted. So let me not show her the camera. But I love you. I love you so much. Ow. 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 good to like mimic their like goo 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 and sounds whatever i try my best i'm not i'm not too good at like imitating her goo goo gaga um but that's how you want to build like conversation with them and she's like really good about it i feel like ever since she was like newborn like i've always tried to like talk to her like full sentences here and there like i'll talk to her like oh my god you're a princess but most of the time i try talking to her like super normal like full sentences kind of like adult talk because that's like the best way to like build their speech and vocab, right? Uh -huh. okay. And doing that like one-on-one -on -one conversation, like talking, uh -huh, waiting for them to like respond, that's like key to like building that like one-on-one -on -one conversation with the baby. And it helps them a lot. Like it sounds a little silly, but it's really helpful for them. And I also try to like move her feet like this so that, you know, she starts getting used to this, like mim mimicking the movement of moving her legs up and her grabbing her feet because the faster she gets used to this and the faster she learns this movement specifically moving from side to side the faster she'll learn how to roll the faster you learn how to roll the faster you learn how to crawl and the faster you learn how to crawl guess what mama the faster you learn how to walk and you'll be walking like mama and dada yeah so we gotta familiarize you with your feet right I gotta get some work done. Hopefully it doesn't take me long because I try to work while she naps. Uh, but she's not gonna nap right now. So what I do in that case, I usually put her in this swing, which is facing away from my monitors because I really don't want her like looking at screens. I try to minimize like screen as much as I can. Even like when we're watching TV because me and Kevin will usually eat here and like watch TV so what we do is we'll usually put her here in her bouncer and then like put it facing away from the tv so that we can at least still have dinner while watching tv but she's not watching screen time um but yeah i just try to avoid it as much as i can personal choice like i said every parent is different you do what you want with your own kid that's just what i do with mine um so yeah while i try to finish my work this is pretty much how we have her yeah it's honestly it's like it is sometimes it's really challenging like trying to get work done and like taking care of a baby like i do a really good job i feel like balancing both because sometimes like my job like really it's a lot going on uh, but this week has been like so crazy and like i said this week she's also going through like this freaking like regression whatever it is like mood swing i don't know fussiness and it's been like a lot trying to like take care of her and like work but we got this like i said i feel like i do like a really good job at both and i feel like we've done like a really good like routine me and her thank you for confirming and have a wonderful day ahead um okay anyways so yeah i feel like we've gotten like a good routine like at the beginning when i first went back to work i was like really scared you know i was really scared because i was like i'm gonna like balance everything out because it's it's really hard for me because like i said i don't have family nearby that can like come and like stay or like help out with the baby like my mom doesn't live here which i feel like most of the time for us girls it's like your mom or like a grandma or something or like an aunt that will come and like help you out my mom doesn't live in the u.s my grandma my both of my grandmas have passed away so like i really don't have like any family here that i can be like hey like can you please come and like help me out with this or like can i drop her off at your house and this and that no um so yeah it's pretty much like me taking care of her like all the time where sometimes it's uh, uh, like really 
overstimulating, but it's okay. I just have to like, I try to just think of the posi positive side of things. It's okay, princess. I try to think of the positive side of things because it's like, hey, at least I get to work from home. And at least I'm not spending so much money on daycare and like I get to spend time with my daughter and like teach her, you know, and teach her things the way that I want to. And I get to be like involved pretty much 24 seven in her life. So I appreciate that so, so, so freaking much. My goodness, I could eat you up. I could eat you up, my princess. Oh my goodness, you're so beautiful. I love you. All right, we are ready to go out. Who's ready to go to Target? <laughs> we are gonna head to Target. Well, actually, we're gonna go to Carter's because I have been trying to go to the Carter's sale for like the longest time ever. But like I said, I've been so busy with work this week that I just haven't had the time. But I'm finally done. So I'm gonna go to Carter's because they're having a sale. And I believe they have onesies for like eight bucks which adriana mostly wears onesies because it's just the most comfortable and like the most convenient like unless we have plants and like we go out somewhere and i know like we're gonna be taking photos and stuff then i'll put her like in her nice outfits but other than that like regular days like today that i'm just like working and like chilling at the house she's wearing onesies we're not messing around here we're not gonna complicate ourselves so we're gonna go buy some onesies um see how that goes and just get out of the house because like i said as you guys can literally tell, I spend like 99.9 .9 of the time at the house. So this is my me time. This is time for me to get out and have some time for myself and some time with my daughter. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to have fun. We're going to go out. And like it's cool because like the shopping center where Carter's is, like Target's also there. Old Navy, like Home Goods, all of those stuff. And I've been seeing on TikTok that Old Navy has really cute, like baby clothes. So that is where we're gonna go. Gianna loves going out, like she freaking loves it. And she is honestly such a good baby when she goes out. I think she behaves better outside of the house than she does at home. Um so I love that because before I had kids, like I always said. That when I had a kid, I was always going to train my kid to like go out so that they're not throwing like tantrums and stuff. Um, but honestly, you really don't understand the feeling like the feeling of anxiety of leaving the house with a baby until you become a mother. And oh my gosh, when I had Adriana, it was it was rough like those first like weeks maybe up to like two months actually it was just like so much anxiety like your body literally f well at least for me f would fill up with fear of like how am i gonna leave the house with the baby especially when you're breastfeeding and like i said she breastfeeds on demand so like she's like always hungry and stuff and when like they're newborn it's really hard to like have like a feeding schedule with them so it was like what if she wants to feed and you know I was just like contemplating every bad situation and it was going downhill like it was really going downhill because I like going out and I don't mean going out to party and stuff I don't like that but I like going out to dinner I like going out to lunch I like going to Target I like shopping all of those stuff so I like running errands pretty much I'm an errand type of girl and for the longest time I couldn't do that because you know with Adriana so like I was just like not feeling it I was just feeling so low and then one night, like, I don't know, I had like a moment of like reality. And I was like, I can't keep doing this shit. I can't keep doing this because I'm gonna go insane and I'm gonna get depressed. And if I get depressed, I'm not gonna be able to be like the best mom for my daughter. So that's kind of like how I kind of like snapped out of my like, my newborn mom or like first time mom anxiety moment. Kind of just started taking her everywhere. like started going everywhere with her running my errands started breastfeeding her in the car before going somewhere or like breastfeeding her at home and she's amazing she's amazing she loves going out like she's super like calm well you know like knock on wood that it stays like that but yeah like i said we've been out to bolivia we've literally traveled with this like three months old and she's been amazing 
So I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud of her. But I went to Carter's to get her like a bunch of like onesies because that's honestly what she wears most of the time. Um, some of these are six months, but I did get some that are nine months because she is about to be like four months and she's already wearing six months. So very soon she's going to start wearing nine months. Um, so yeah, onesies, double zippers because those, those are the best. Okay, double zipper onesies are going to save your life. I stand by what I said. How freaking cute. It is button, but okay, it, it's nine months. So she'll be a little bigger by then. So freaking cute. I also got her like a little sun hat. You know, in case we hit the beach or go to the pool. Adri. Here we go. Here we go. What's wrong, mama? You want to show the camera your crying face? Look at your crying face. Look at your eyes. She has my crying face. Like, listen, when I cry, my face gets like red, puffy. Like, it's disgusting. I have the ugliest crying face. Homegirl, she got the crying face too. Look at that. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> you want to show them what you got? That's what I was doing. I was showing them what we got. All right. Next up. How cute, how adorable. I love, I love, I love, I love. Um, okay, I also got her a swimsuit. Well, I actually got her two, but the other one's from Only. I believe this one is nine months. She probably already fits into this because this honestly looks really small to be nine months. This is for your swimsuit, mama. Whenever we go to the pool or the beach or the water, uh -huh. but anyways it's so cute it has like little ruffles like a little tutu type of situation going you want to touch it you want to grab it you like it she loves to pull by the way like when we were in bolivia like we took her to the we took her to this like baby spa and then like we went to like a little like pool outdoor pool thing and she loved it so we got a swimmer over here how oh how cute i love like these type of outfits for babies because i just feel like especially her because she's really chunky this like shows her like little chunky legs and her little rolls tell me why old navy has really cute like baby clothes like i remember old navy from like when i was a kid and like nobody messed around with old navy like nobody would go in there so we got this little blue listen I know that when I said I was going to be a girl mom, I always envisioned everything pink. But I do love how blue looks on her. Like, blue on her looks so freaking pretty. Um, So we got this. Right, like, it's cute. Basic blue with, like, like a bow or, like, a headband, something like that. Like, it's going to look so adorable. And then I got this, like, another one kind of similar, but, like, in hot pink. You see... I just feel like these are gonna be like really refreshing and stuff like whenever we go out and it's sunny um and then if it ever gets chilly and stuff i got this like set i just thought it was so cute because of like the strawberry print so you have the joggers which are like strawberry prints up oh, i'm obsessed with this one okay and then you have like the sweatshirt how uh, you know what i wish they would have made like mommy and me so these ones because i would have so gotten one for myself right do you like this one look at it do you like it the strawberries adorable i love it this one's my favorite one are you guys ready are you ready for this one this is a swimsuit by the way shut the hell up shut the hell up how I can't hold it too well because I'm kind of like holding her at the same time. But look how adorable. Look at the pink zipper. I think this one has, it has like small ruffles here. Uh-huh. Oh, just how adorable. This one is 6 to 12 months. But it fits babies from 17 to 22 pounds. And she just happens to be, I think she's almost like 17 pounds. So this one's going to fit her great. I think I'm going to feed her and then put her down for her nap. Right, Mama? You want to take a nap? A small nap? Oh my gosh. You guys freaking 
Adriana's like literally crazy. Like this girl will literally do anything not to sleep. Like if this girl could be awake, what? The I don't even know how awake, how many hours awake a human is. But if she could be awake for a full day, she would. Like if this girl could not take a nap, she. I'm telling you, she would not. She's a great sleeper. Like at night, like thank God, I'm not complaining because she's really good at sleeping at night. But in the mornings, holy crap. Anyways, I have to freaking store my milk. Which is something that I do every day. Ugh, honestly, by like this time, it's like when my energy starts to wear out, you guys. So I'm starting to get like a little tired. Um. But yeah, I was very lucky and very thankful that I have a good milk supply. Like, I was really in shock because you know what? nobody in my family is was like a breastfeeder like my mom didn't breastfeed none of like me or my siblings my aunts didn't breastfeed i don't know if my grandma did but whatever the point is we were all like formula fed so i was not what day is it today the first so like i was just not expecting anything out of me but let me do these first. Sorry, but I'm like, well, it was, you know what? Like, my breastfeeding journey is like a whole separate video that I think I'm gonna make. But like I said, I was very lucky that I established a good supply from the beginning. I mean, even before, like, I think it was like the last weeks of like, my pregnancy, I was like taking a lot of like oats and like oat milk. Not oat milk, what the fuck am I saying? Oatmeal. And I kept doing that also, like, once, like, I was postpartum and I think that really helped me out like establish like that helped me oh my gosh sorry I can't even like talk like what the fuck am I saying that really helped me establish a supply and I'm actually an oversupplier now well I've been an oversupplier so I actually like I don't know if you can see it but like back there that white thing is like my deep freezer because I like was running out of space in my freezer, so we had to like buy a deep freezer, all of that stuff. Um, so yeah, being an oversupplier, it's a hundred percent a blessing, but it's also very tiring because, like I said, I think I'm just gonna do like a whole video like on breastfeeding and stuff because breastfeeding itself is like a journey. It's like a lot of learning, a lot of trial and error. And you really think that it will come natural because like the fuck like you'd think that that's something that women naturally do but it's not that was like i think one of like also a huge shocking if anything i think that's like the biggest shock i had becoming a new mom is how freaking hard how freaking hard breastfeeding is like it's not fucking easy i mean maybe it is easy for some people like i said everybody's so freaking different Oh my god, but it is not easy. And like I said, if you're an oversupplier, like there's so much that you like have to look into and like you're pumping and like you're trying different pumps and you're seeing what works for you. And then there's like different like flange sizes, like your nipple is like obviously different sizes and the, wow. It's a lot. It's a lot of research, it's a lot of learning and like hello, like you're freaking learning how to be a new mom too. And at the same time you also have to learn this new like mechanism of like milk honestly i'm just super glad that i'm like pats like my newborn face and like all of that shit because wow it really was a lot it was a lot and they say you know what like people always say like cherish the newborn face and you know what like looking back like i do like obviously you miss your little baby and when they were like so tiny but the truth is is that i'm fucking glad that i'm out of the newborn face like i have so much more fun now that she's like more active and that I know what I'm doing and like I have someone of like a routine established and shit like that because the beginning is just like survival mode to be honest but like I said I think this should just be like a different video like I think I should just do like a little like talking like real freaking like mother talk one-on-one -on -one. this is where I keep like any dirty parts like my pumps bottles I just put everything into like one container I'll fill it up with like soap and warm water um, and that's how I clean them and then, you know, like, they'll go, like, in the sterilizer or whatever. 
here's my deep freezer okay we had to like fit it somewhere in this freaking apartment so like and my apartment has like no space but this is what we're working with so far so like here i have some of my colostrum that i got from when i was pregnant here i have like my oldest stash so like these are from november so like if you have milk in your deep freezer it's good to like for like 12 months preferably it's better if you eat it during like six months because that's i don't know what i've read um but yeah these are from like november then it goes down to december and then you have january and then i'll start you know like filling it up as we go but yeah if you would have asked me like if i thought i would be an oversupplier like i would have never thought i was gonna be an oversupplier like i'm very lucky and i'm very blessed because my goal is to feed her like i want to breastfeed her as much as i can as much as i mentally and physically can right my goal is to breastfeed her like on the boob probably until six months if i can do a little more than that like we'll see how i feel then but like my goal is to like feed her on the boob until six months if she's teething and if it hurts too much then i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna start using like her stash and hopefully like my goal is to build my stash as much as possible so like it'll last her until she's at least a year and then when she's a year old then you know we're gonna go to cow milk anyways i'm like so exhausted and i didn't eat lunch today which is not a good thing because that's another thing if you're breastfeeding like you have to be eating a lot and you have to be taking a lot of calories to make up for the amount of milk that your body is making and i didn't have lunch so i went ahead and just got bubble tea because i kind of about to get out of work and we're gonna have dinner either way so but i am starving and i can literally hear adriana awake in the back like oh my gosh this girl does not want to sleep like i'm telling you the nighttime i feel like nighttime's the worst i feel like late afternoon and nighttime is like the worst because like that's when the <laughs> she's the most cranky Let's see. Why are you awake? Why are you awake? Go to sleep. You gotta go to sleep. You gotta take your nap. Then you're gonna be cranky the whole night. Hi. Dada. <laughs> And what did you buy? You bought clothes? Oh my goodness! And we got two swimsuits! And two swimsuits? So you can go to the pool? Or to the beach? Wow! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Adriana has recently learned a new skill. What happened, Doi? Doi, like, <laughs> also brings his toy. I'm like, I need to divide my energy between, like, literally two babies. Three, if you count Kevin. But, anyways, Adriana has learned, a, like, is learning a new skill. Like, I literally just discovered this, I think it was, like, two days ago. That she's, like, learning to, like, take out the cups. So that's good. You want to take them out? Let's see, let's see. <laughs> please. <laughs> when does this four month fuzziness go away? Somebody please tell me. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> All right. Come on. Remember? Remember what we were doing yesterday? Uh huh. There you go. All right. Take out the first one. This is the first one. Oh, you know what? Actually, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Go, take it out. Take it out. You know how to do it. You know how to do it. Maybe take out your hand out of your mouth. Mm hmm. There you go. Remember, take one. Take one. 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 You got it. You got it. Good job. Purple. Purple. All right, next. Next. You got it. It's okay. 
It's okay. Why are we crying? You know how to do it. You just did it with the purple. Now do it with the yellow. You got it. All right, so we did take a break. Shoot. <laughs> She did eat, so at least she like ate for like a minute. And now she's been chilling. We've been doing some rolling on the bed, and she was playing with Doughy. You getting ready for bedtime? Bedtime's coming up soon. Uh huh. You got it. There you go. Yeah. Why is she looking at you while she's doing it? <laughs> she's right? <laughs> she's Good like, Mom, job. this is easy. <laughs> no. You got it, you got it. There you go. Red. Good job. One more. I do want to start her be bedtime earlier, but I'm kind of waiting for her to just want to start sleeping earlier. Like I don't want to force it on her just because I feel like it will be like a harder transition. Um, but I have been noticing lately like she's getting tired a little bit earlier. So maybe I start doing her bedtime like around nine, like starting at nine. So we'll see how that goes. But so far, like doing the bedtime at 9.30 like has been working for everybody. I kind of just want to start doing it early because sometimes I kind of want to go to bed earlier. So first things first, we're gonna grab our owlet sock, owlet sock, however you say it. This thing is amazing. Uh, I feel like everybody has their own opinion. Some people say that it doesn't work for them, but honestly, for me, it's like a lifesaver because those first nights as a newborn, like I could not sleep because of the freaking anxiety. But anyways, that gives me peace of mind. And since she sleeps in the other room now, it's easier for me to track her sleep as well, so. Um, well, that's going on. I also go ahead. Her burp hole? She sure has one. Okay. Um, I go ahead and pick out her PJs. So, she's gonna sleep with these ones on tonight. Right, girl? So, I kind of like just lay it down over here. Oh, yes, I'm getting Who, whose PJs am I getting ready? Yours. And then I'll go ahead and get a diaper ready. Her cream, which, by the way, this is like the only cream that like she uses because she did have. Gotta take my birth control. Guys, this cream is the only cream that she uses because when she was a newborn, like she had this like skin allergy reaction going on. Turns out it was baby eczema. I used this and like it went away and it's been working amazing with her. And then we also use a little bit of diaper rash paste just because since she sleeps for such a long stretch at night, I don't want her getting, you know, a rash. Her diapers, I use the Costco ones. I feel like these are like the best diapers ever. Um, and that's pretty much it. I literally just like lay down like on the bed, and then she plays with Kevin for a bit while I get the bath ready. <laughs> oh, you my little chunkies! All right, what do we do now? We turn on the light. We turn on this light. 